Hey everyone, my name is Mithun, um, and for my Stackathon, I wanted to make a music creation tool that was accessible and relatively powerful. Um, and I was sort of inspired by, if you guys have ever heard of a DAW or a DAW, it's short for Digital Audio Workstation. It's like programs like GarageBand, Logic, Ableton that let you compose music, arrange tracks, um, do a lot of things. I thought, well, what if you could build a really simple DAW in your browser um, where you could make music, you could record it, you could arrange it. And I got about halfway through that because I didn't get to implement the recording feature. But I think I did make a pretty cool music sequencer app. So if you look over here, basically, let's start at the top. So we have three instruments going on. And up here is our drum machine. And basically what happens is you have Row, three rows of 16, and when I press this start button, the clock is going to start and it's going to loop through the pattern that's in there. And each of these rows corresponds to a different sound. So I'll show you. If I highlight these, so that bottom row is mapped to a kick sound, a kick drum, and then this top row is mapped to a hi hat. So it sounds like that. Right. So it's really easy to, you know, just come up with little patterns. Um, we also have volume controls for these. So that's for the hi-hat. Kick, snare. And we can also change the samples that are being played. So that's the drum machine. Now, the next thing we have is a synthesizer. And it works in a pretty similar way. So in this case, the columns have eight, um, like eight boxes on each one. And each one is mapped out to a note on a scale. So this would be the lowest note. And if I just mapped out a pattern like this, it would just ascend up the major scale. It's kind of loud. OK. All right. And I have also programmed it so you can change your scale. So you're not just limited to major. I've got all the seven modes in there. So let's go with uh, Mixolydian, because everyone loves Mixolydian. <laughs> We'll, we can also change the key, transpose it up to C. Let's make it flat, C flat. Uh, so notice how the pitches change. OK, that's getting really annoying. Um, but let me maybe get rid of some notes in there. So we can also change the octave of the synth. So and we can even add effects to it. All right. And one more little cool thing. You can change the tempo, the global tempo of the loop being played, and that's pretty fun. So, yeah. So, a lot of options in there. Um, so, I did pretty much all of this using a library called Tone.js, which just builds off the web audio API that I talked about uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and I used a, another library called Nexus UI, which provided a lot of these sliders and other musical interfaces, and really just bound everything using jQuery. So I loaded a bunch of little tracks that I made just to play you guys. Um, so here's the first one. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that one. Uh, let's try this one.
Sounds like something you'd hear in like a Mario game or something like that, I feel. And uh, the last feature I was trying to implement, so right now you're just limited to these loops of 16, um, but I wanted to give the user customization over that. And I got it to work, but it had a bunch of bugs. But um, I do have one instance running on my local machine. So here everything's split into 32, so you can kind of write longer tracks. So.